So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And the other day I uploaded a video showcasing me. Basically farming a dragon over and over and I stated in that video that new players can do this. And today I'm going to showcase you guys and hopefully new players watching this. They can get to this dragon, farm this dragon for runes and level up super super quickly from the very start of the game. So I'm just going to quickly create a character guys, I'll skip to actually where you start the game and I'll catch you back in a quick second. Okay, so I've basically started the game. Um, just gonna grab a few things guys. Uh, I'm not gonna rush, to be honest. I'm just gonna go here at a normal pace. Probably a little bit of rushing, but hey. So this dragon, by the way, you get like 40 or 50K runes. And as for a new player, that is a ton of runes. And because you can farm this dragon over and over guys, can do this indefinitely until you get to a great level to start your adventure in this game so that's what we're going to do guys so i know here there's a boss and i'm just going to let him kill me i think i don't even think you can beat him to be honest so yeah but yeah like i said this is a this is for mainly new players to the game come on mother, 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 mother. come on come on there you go there we go there we go just gonna skip all this rubbish now what I will say is as well, this actually requires a weapon which makes it, well actually don't require the weapon, but makes it much much easier if we have a weapon with that blood loss build up on. Now the weapon, I'll start with a samurai, so I've already got this weapon but I'm going to showcase to you guys exactly where you can actually get this uh, katana. So if you start with another class, don't worry about it, you can still get this, uh, this katana with that blood loss build up on. Okay, so I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to get out of here. Activating the graces, guys, because we need to activate four graces in order to get our horse, our mount, who is obviously very important. Very important indeed. Okay, so on the lift we go. So the Kitana, guys, is this one right here. And as you can see, you want the blood loss build up on it, as you see that. Bottom, passive effect. That's what we want. That's what we want. I'm sure I just put that bow away. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to run out into the open world. Into the open world. And basically, you just want to follow me from here, guys. Now, I will always clear this guy's dialogue. Activate this grace first. Yeah, I'm going to clear this guy's dialogue. So that's the second grace we've actually uh, done. Alright, mate. Get out of here. Don't want to hear your rubbish. Come on then. Alright. Alright. Any more? Any more? Any more? There we go. There we go. Now, now we have to go to the Church of Ella, which is right there in front of us. Avoiding the big bastard on the horse there. We don't want to mess with him. Not in these early stages because he will do you over. Let me tell you. I hope he didn't just spot me. Did he just spot me? For a second, I thought he did. Okay, so the church, go inside of here. There will be another grace you to activate. Simple as that, guys. And now we're going to run in this direction over here. I'm going to go and get the fourth grace. This is what we're doing, people. Yep, I'm going to put no levels in. Now, if you do start another class, you may have to. Uh, kill a few enemies like these smaller enemies can kill them over and over to maybe put a couple of levels into something that requires well just katana's requirements i'm not sure what they are checking a quick second and here a guy chasing me get out of here mate oh there's more coming there's more coming we just want to go to that grace over there and we should then uh speak to lena i believe who gives us uh Trusty steed and mount. Our trusty mount. Okay, so let's go sit down here. I should I should get a black screen here. I should I should there we go. There it is. Now it's kicking in. Skipping that. Now she's gonna talk to me here about thingy. Obviously always guys. Dialogue options, pick the top one. Always pick the top one. <laughs> there we go, there's our steed. There he is. Yes, we know, we know. Okay, so. 
So I'm here. I'm going to assign him to. Yep, yeah, right on my D pad, as is on every uh, thingy. Now the map ain't even open, guys. And we've got to come up to about there, I believe. About there. Let's go there. I'm going to showcase you guys who didn't start as a samurai. I can get this uh, this katana with that blood loss build up on, so we can farm that dragon much, much easier. Because when that blood does build up, it takes up a massive chunk of that dragon's health we're going to be farming. Um, and that's the important part. It just makes farming way more efficient when you're at these lower levels. When you're at these lower levels. Now, there's going to be some big enemies up here, and we just want to avoid them. As best we can, we don't mess with any of them. We just avoid, avoid, avoid. Yep, we don't like that sound. Let's keep going, guys. Let's just keep going. I've got some... You know what, guys? I've got... I must have... Actually, there should be a way to jump. Oh, there it is. I've missed it. Uh, I should have... About 340 hours in this game so far since release. You know what's even crazy, guys? I've probably uploaded 190 videos since release. Probably. Pushing that anyway. Pushing that anyway, guys. Yep, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But I love this game. This game's so good, man. This game's so good. So that that uh, catacombs is literally just across there. Now you don't want to jump down and die. That would be awkward. Yeah, should be a sand drop. It should be fine there. Okay, so just here on my left, it should be. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go in here. And we're going to activate this grace here. And you want to activate every grace you see, to be honest, because if you die, you can just fast travel straight back to it. Yeah. Now, now guys, we just run to get this katana. Just run down here. We get that boss door there. Just come down here. Ignore all the enemies. Come down here, through here, down here. Take a left. I've run this too many times. Grab it. There's your katana. Good. Pull it on. Then you should want to run back out. Right, he's going to have to get out of my way. Get out of my way, mate. Come on. Come on, big boy. There you go. There you go. Okay, so just want to run out of here. I mean, like I said, you don't have to do it this fast. You just get uh, the basics of what you do. And it, you can do it in your own time, to be honest. I want you to level up a few times before you even come to this, uh, this dragon to farm him. That's completely up to you. Now, let me show you the requirements of this katana. The requirements are, as you can see, 11 strength and 15 dexterity. Simple as that, guys. Now, we need to head east. And let's keep heading east. Let me remove that first marker. I just need to head east and keep going east. We want to go down here. Otherwise, you're going to try and go to the edge there and fall off. So, yeah, you want to come down here and travel this way. Now, there's going to be another grace down here as well, I think. I think. Hey, it's... Uh, Alexander up there, stuck in a hole. So, yep, grab that. There you go. Don't mess with this pumpkin head dude, guys. He does heat hard when you this level. Yep. Just run past him. Run past him. Hey, a smithing stone. Okay, so. Let's follow the beacon. Let's follow the beacon. Actually, normal way. Without pinpointing, but I want to do it for the people that the new players that are probably watching this thinking, you know, I'm going to do that. It's actually a decent guide. I'm going to do it. I'm going to level up before. Was that D there? It was D. A lot of people kill him. Don't realize that's your quest. It messes up. But hey, don't do that. I want to actually come down here. Well, can we go across up the top? I'm not sure. I think we actually can go across up the top. I think I normally go down that way, though, to be honest. Yeah, you can come up here. That's fair. That's fine. So you don't have to run past that ruins down there and probably get eaten by an enemy. That's fine. You want to... Oh, I thought that was a hole then. You can say you have to jump across there. Jump across there. Okay, so now... 
can see where we are. We're just going to run up this way. And keep going. We're actually in a... The enemies get harder and harder the further across here you get. So you can see where we are on the map, guys. I've run straight past my marker. There's probably actually a couple of graces if you follow the path. But don't worry about that for now. Um, yep, just keep coming this way, guys. I think over this hill, there is another grace, which we're going to activate 100%. Jump over here, go over this wall to a very dangerous area. So all kinds of crazy shit over here. Okay, so there's a grace. Can a bear? The bear's like, yeah. We're gonna activate the grace, guys, and we want to go up towards that tower. Try and avoid all these enemies the best we can. Now, I think we do get a chase here. I think there may be. One of those crazy looking dogs here. But yeah. Obviously you want to avoid that as best you can. There they all are. Yeah, you want to avoid them. You do want to avoid them. You want to come across here. Now this may be... No, it's on all that jump. We're good. There's a great sword in the back of that... Uh, in that carriage there. That thingy, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, there's a, there's a great sword in it. That there. What the giants normally pull. Yeah, so if you, want, if you think you're brave, go and grab it. You can do it without the enemies getting you, but yeah. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> forget that. Now, I want to go across there. It looks like you can't get across there, but you actually can. But you want to avoid these dogs on your right. Now, that, they will clock you. Yeah. I think they will clock you. Yeah. The white one, anyway, you'll start screaming in a second. But either way, just go across here. Yeah. Ignore them. And jump. Make sure you jump. Make sure you jump. And now we want to grab this grace in front of us here. Grab this grace, people. Just like so. And you'll see now we are all the way up here. And we want to come to about there. But it could be a bit further across, but we're going to pin there. Let's go this way. Now, you know you're there on track when you see the biggest white dragon you've ever seen in your entire life. Which I think is just around this way now we will have to run past a few dragons here and trust me when i tell you you do not want to get close to them you do not want to get close to them i can see all their tails spinning you can see all kinds of shit yeah that there you go there's two down there no 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 we want to avoid them as best we can so come this way around you can see there's a dragon there guys we want to go on this side of the wall now, there will be another dragon here. Uh, I think there's one actually on this side of the wall. Hey, if you just sprint across it, you should be good. Yeah, just want to keep coming, guys. Yeah, just want to keep coming. Ignoring here, them giant footsteps. Nope. There's a white dragon. There he is. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Absolutely massive. Yep. He's breathing. But this is the guy we actually farm. Now, originally, where because a lot of content creators, including myself, uploaded a farm. We went to farm. It was just a one-time thing where you could kill that dragon because you can hit him, and he actually doesn't move. He don't move, so you can just kill him. I mean, you can stay there for five, what well, between three and seven minutes, depending on what you're using. But if you got this katana, you can kill him much, much quicker and get rid of that marker. So yeah, all you do is, guys, you run down to him. And you hit away. <laughs> you just literally hit away at his tail. And he doesn't react. He doesn't do anything. He can just get three kills. I think it's like 40 or 50,000 runes. And you'll notice if you look in the top left. After about 20 to 25 hits. The blood loss will kick in. And it'll take a chunk off his health. And the plan is guys. As soon. Well we, what I do is. And I think it's the way to do it. See that big chunk of health come off him then. The massive chunk of health come off his health bar. That's the bloodlust build up. And the way I do it, guys, is, and the way you need to do it is to farm him, is as soon as you kill him, you need to make a, a beeline back to that grace. Because if you get to the grace and sit down before he vanishes and disappears due to him dying and his dying animation, you actually get the runes, but when you stand back up, guys, he's back here again, so you can do it again. You can do this again, you can do this over and over and over. But what I do, guys, is instead of trying to run, and instead of trying to run and then jump on my, uh, my mount, 
I'll get his health down to real low. And I'll just kill him while I'm on my mans. So then I can just quickly just sprint up down my mans to be ready. Now you can get the bloodlust build up on your man, by the way. I just think you can hit probably a bit quicker. Standing next to it, just doing it like this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's something I haven't really tested. Now you can. You can, guys, get a scarab, a talisman, which you can apply. Which is in a cave not too far from here, actually. But you would have to take out, I believe it could could be two bosses. The Crystallian bosses, a spear and a sort of mouse. But they give you a talisman that gives you 20% extra runes. I mean, you could farm him for three or four times, get a decent level, go to that cave, and I'll link the guide in the video description. Um, get that, get that, that scarab, get that talisman, pull it on. Come back here, guys, and keep farming. Keep farming away. This is half health already. That took about two minutes, maybe. I'm a, I haven't even put one level into this character yet. The only thing you really want to keep an eye on is your stamina. Just make sure your stamina is good. And what I will say is also, is if you um, leave it too late and you think you've left it too late and the animation's already started kicking in before you've started to run away, you can simply just pull up your map straight away, guys, as soon as he's dead. Like, as soon as he's dead, you can pull up your map. Um, and just quickly fast travel to the nearest grace point. So obviously that one there, but if your instincts take here left, right, up or down, just quickly click on that grace point and go to it ASAP. If you do that quick enough and you load out of this area, you can come back and you can repeat the farm. Now you won't get your runes if you do this, if you fast travel. But guys, it's better than losing more together so you can never do it again. So yeah. Okay, so I'm just... He's almost dead. I've just slowed down a bit hitting him. Yeah, the, the signs of the dragons are terrifying, but they don't come for you. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't come for you. So you ain't got to worry about it. Now, what I would do if you plan on doing this as well is I'd probably put some uh, stats into yeah, strength and dexterity to scale this up a bit more to make it hit harder. There you go, just got another massive blood loss build up. Well hey, it's up to you how you spend your points. I'm actually going to try and jump on my horse from here. And then I'm going to get ready. So as soon as it's half, you, just, you get the... the um... Actually, you know what? I don't think it is faster on your feet. You know, I think you could just stand on your horse and do it. Yeah, so as soon as I get the animation of him dying, I'm just going to sprint up there, guys. And get that grace. And you'll notice when you stand back up, this dude will be back here. And you can just rinse and repeat this as much as you want. Simple as that. Simple as that. And you can see, look at that. One. Well, to be honest, although it looks like he's almost dead, it'll probably take a few more hits before he actually dies. His health bars have vanished. So I'm going to get ready now. I'm prepping. I'm prepping, my fingers hovering above that, that sprint button. First, I think you got about 10 seconds to get up there to burn. So I don't think you're, you're that strapped for time doing this. But as soon as he starts moving, that's the animation of him dying. That's when you've got to get out of here. So what I'm doing is I'm not letting my stamina go all the way down. So that's obviously required to sprint on your horse. One more bloodlust build up is going to kick in in a second, I've got a feeling. Let my stamina go back up. There you go. See that animation there? Just run, run, run. Jump off your horse. Sit down. Simple as that. Got my runes. Dragon's still there. Me. Hello. Me. Not you again. You can just skip all this. And you see, you can go back down. Farm the dragon again. What you want to do with my hand? What are you doing, bird? But yeah, you can do this over and over, guys. Oh, she's taking me to the round table. I forgot about that on your fifth grace. Is it fifth, sixth, seventh? I don't know. But yeah. So yeah, you can just go straight back there, guys. You ain't got to do this now. So let's go back there. So it's right here. And this is the grace point, people. This is the grace point. 
and then guys like i said you can spend these runes on whatever you like um I'm probably just going to spam them into half here to be honest on this character. It's only a, uh, a test character anyway, so it don't really matter. But yeah, you put them on what you, well, plan on doing in the future, whether you're doing a, a mage, whatever. But yep, the dragon's right there, guys. I'm just going to quickly, actually, you know what? I just want to prove it to you so you can hit him again. Kick him up the ass. But yeah, guys, you can do this over and over. Just do as I did, and you're good. But like I said, if you make a mistake and you you think you took too long as soon as he's dead you wait too long for the animation to kick in just quickly pull up your i can't do it now because i hit him but pull up your map and go to the nearest grace site simple as that let me just spam these into half and i'll actually show you guys another spot in where you can um get a good amount of runes which is actually not far from here so you want to come up this way. So I'm just going to pin there. Yep, I'm just going to pin there. I'm just going to head over that way, guys. I'm just going to head this direction. Because there is a Knight's Calvary, if you know what they are. They only spawn at night. But you can kite one away into through poison spores. And you can actually get a, a good chunk of runes from that. So you can only do that once. But if you're a new player watching this, you may as well do this while you're here. You may as well do this while you're here. Now, you want to jump down this way, guys. Obviously. Because you won't die on one of them. And you want to come around here. Follow this path, guys, up here. Because we want to get to... Uh, I think it's Lenny's Rise. It's like a tower. Yep. Don't mess with these. Just run away. Oh, grab that, though, while I'm here. No, I won't. I missed it. Completely missed that. So, you see that there, guys? That's where we run to. Yep. Yep. Ignore that. We're coming up here. I'm not even going to stop you to show you the map where the health was on the screen, but hey. So you can see. Lenny's Rise. Now there is another thing you can jump down on here, guys, so don't stress about that. There it is. Just like so. And now, guys, we are at another spot. Like you can see the Knight's Calvary there. It will only appear at night. So what you want to do guys is obviously activate this grace and you want to sit down at it just in case you die or respawn you back at the uh, other the, by the grace you previously thingy so you can see him right there let me get rid of that there's actually another room farm down here which is quite good so what we're going to do guys is and this i'll probably die but it don't really matter i spent my runes anyway so you want to run past this guy you don't want him hitting you they will hit you and probably kill you straight away but you want to run past him and get him you want to kite him you want him to follow you up that hill so what you'll do is guys look you'll see him you'll spot me as soon as he goes to swing i'll try and dodge like that see now you want him you want to keep the half bar on your screen but you don't want to sprint too far ahead you see his paws these paws will actually kill him but you have to be careful and make sure he's right behind you like that so as soon as you get the uh where you see his like animation, he's like feature in your, in your screen, just run. But don't go too fast because, like I said, there you go, he's coming. And we'll get up here, guys, we turn this corner. You'll notice his health bar will disappear off your screen. When that happens, he will die, just like so, dead. And there you go, I'm not sure, I can't remember how many runes you get for that. 42,000 runes for that. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. And now, what you want to do from here is go back to Lenny's Rise. Now, I've been recording for about 25 minutes here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many levels I can get. But hey, if we kept farming that dragon, we'll probably get more. Um, just going to pull it into... You know, it don't really matter where I pull it because I'm not going to use this character again. I'm just going to pull it back into half. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so... Good. Now... There's another farm down here, which you can do over and over. So if you come down this hill, again at uh, Lenny's Rise, it's about this direction, I think. You'll notice when you get to about just past that tree on your right, a boulder will spawn in. What you want to do is, guys, let it spawn in and let it roll towards you and then quickly dodge out of the way. That will roll off the map and it normally gives you 2,000 runes. There you go. Then you want to run down here. There's another boulder. And then, guys, you just want to do exactly the same. You can do the one. 
You can do the two, it's up to you, whichever you find more efficient on yourself. If you want to use, use this spot, you see there's one there. Then we just want to quickly go that way. Just like so, that'll go off the map. You get another 2,000 runes then, guys. If I didn't have a dragonfly trying to chase me and eat me. Sit down, bitch. You can go back to the uh, grace point and run back down the hill. Personally, the dragon's much quicker in my opinion because you get such a large chunk. And it's less running, less messing about, but hey. You can use what you want to use, guys. And basically, that is it. That is it, people. It really is that simple. And you'll be, within a few hours, guys, you'll be a high level. You can progress through the game, do what you want to do. Play as you please. I get a little bit of an advantage behind you. And you are good, guys. And there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of me, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.